In this tutorial, let us explore how does the eye focus on near and far objects. If you like what you see on our channel, please like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications. As light enters the eye, it must be refracted or bent so that we can see the image clearly. We call this focusing. About 60% of the refraction of the light rays is done by the cornea and the rest is done by the lens. Light rays coming from an object in the distance will be almost parallel to one another. They will not need much bending. Whereas light rays coming from a nearby object are diverging or are going away from one another and hence will need more bending in order to focus. The eye changes the shape of the lens to cause more or less refraction through the process of accommodation. The shape of the lens can be adjusted to bend light rays more or less. The shape of the lens is controlled by the ciliary muscles and it is held in position by a ring of suspensory ligaments. Now let us see how the shape of the lens is changed depending upon the distance of the object from the eye. If you are looking at a distant object, the ciliary muscles relax or loosen and the suspensory ligaments are pulled tight and the lens is pulled thin or into an elliptical shape. Light rays are refracted as they pass through the lens and focus on the retina. The distant object is in focus. For a near object, the ciliary muscles contract and the suspensory ligaments relax. This causes the lens to become small and thicker. Light rays are refracted more than they were when looking at the distant object. The near object is in focus. This adjustment in the shape of the lens to focus light coming from different distances is called accommodation. Now when you are in a very bright light condition, the intensity of the light can actually cause damage to your retina. So to prevent this, you have the reflex that controls the size of your pupil. Stay tuned as we learn more about pupil reflex and the role of iris and pupil to regulate the intensity of light entering the eye in our next tutorial.